In the wake of the horrifying shooting at the rally in Pennsylvania, we are left with more questions than answers about the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. This incident has shocked the nation, raising critical concerns about security measures and the potential motives behind such a violent act. From the bizarre background of the shooter to the glaring security lapses that allowed this to happen, we'll break down the top six suspicious factors that make this case both chilling and deeply puzzling. Stay tuned as we unravel these shocking details and attempt to make sense of this alarming event. 1. Shooter's Background and Motive The shooter, Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old resident of Pennsylvania, has a perplexing background that raises more questions than it answers. Known as a loner, Crooks was bullied throughout his school years and failed to make his school's rifle team due to his poor shooting skills. Despite extensive investigations into his personal history, authorities have found no clear motive for his actions. He exhibited no signs of political or religious extremism, making his actions even more baffling. This lack of apparent motive raises significant concerns about what might have driven him to attempt such a heinous act. Typically, individuals who commit politically motivated violence leave behind some trail of their grievances, whether through social media posts, personal writings, or associations with extremist groups. In Crook's case, investigators have come up empty-handed. This absence of a clear motive not only complicates the investigation, but also adds an eerie layer of unpredictability to the incident. It suggests that there may be other, less visible factors at play, potentially involving unseen influences or deep-seated personal issues that have yet to come to light. 2. Weapon Acquisition and Access Crooks used an AR-style 5.56 rifle in the attack, a weapon that was legally purchased by his father. The exact method by which he accessed this firearm remains unclear, especially since it was reportedly kept secured. Just a day before the rally, Crooks bought 50 rounds of ammunition, indicating a level of premeditation. However, how a 20-year-old without a significant history of violence managed to plan and execute this attack remains a crucial question. This aspect of the case opens up several lines of inquiry. Firstly, the ease with which Crooks accessed the weapon suggests potential lapses in firearm storage and security. In households where firearms are present, it is critical that they are stored securely and access is restricted. The fact that Crooks could obtain the gun raises questions about the effectiveness of these measures. Secondly, his purchase of ammunition so close to the event indicates a deliberate and calculated approach to his plan. This premeditation implies a certain level of resolve and determination, characteristics that seem at odds with his otherwise unremarkable background. 3. Event and Security Lapses The shooting occurred at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, during Trump's speech. Positioned on a nearby roof, Crooks opened fire six minutes into Trump's address. The attack left Trump with a damaged ear and two others critically injured. Authorities also discovered rudimentary explosives in Crooks' car and bomb-making materials at his home. These findings suggest a potentially more destructive plan, raising serious concerns about the thoroughness of event security. The presence of these explosives indicates that the shooting was potentially just one part of a broader, more devastating plan. If Crooks had managed to detonate these devices, the casualties could have been significantly higher. This discovery underscores the importance of comprehensive security measures at high-profile events. It is not enough to merely focus on the immediate area. A thorough sweep and ongoing surveillance of surrounding areas are essential to prevent such threats. The fact that these materials were not detected beforehand points to critical gaps in the security protocols. 4. Security Oversights The American Glass Research Building, from where Crooks fired the shots, was not adequately secured. Confusion and finger-pointing between Secret Service and local law enforcement about who was responsible for securing the building contributed to this oversight. Despite the building's clear line of sight to the rally stage, it was left unmonitored, allowing crooks to use a ladder to access the roof. This lapse in security protocol is a critical point of failure in protecting the event and its attendees. This situation highlights a fundamental issue in event security, the importance of clear communication and delineation of responsibilities. Both the Secret Service and local law enforcement have vital roles to play, but when their duties overlap or are not clearly defined, it creates vulnerabilities. The American Glass Research Building's proximity to the rally should have made it a priority for security checks. The fact that it was overlooked suggests a breakdown in coordination and planning. This kind of oversight is unacceptable, especially at events involving high-profile individuals and large crowds. 5. 
Pre-Event Planning and Surveillance Crooks exhibited significant determination in his pre-event planning. He visited a shooting range and purchased the latter from Home Depot the day before the rally. His actions show a level of meticulous planning unusual for someone without a known history of extremist behavior. The fact that he managed to avoid detection while preparing for the attack adds to the suspicion. This raises the question of whether more could have been done to detect and prevent his actions. Pre-event planning and surveillance are critical components of any security operation. Crook's ability to carry out these activities without raising red flags is concerning. It suggests that there were missed opportunities to intercept him before he could carry out his plan. For example, his purchase of the ladder and ammunition on the same day should have triggered some form of scrutiny or monitoring. Additionally, his visit to the shooting range indicates a clear intent to practice and prepare. These actions, taken together, form a pattern of behavior that should have been noticed and investigated. 6. Unanswered Questions and Investigations The FBI and Secret Service are conducting separate investigations, the FBI focusing on the shooter's actions and motivations, while the Secret Service examines the security lapses. Critical questions remain about how crooks learned to make explosives without leaving digital traces. Despite his detailed planning, authorities have found no online searches or communications indicating his intentions. This lack of evidence points to a potentially deeper conspiracy or an exceptional level of secrecy on crooks' part. The timing and response of law enforcement during the shooting also raise further inquiries. The ongoing investigations are crucial to understanding the full scope of this incident. The FBI's focus on Crook's background and actions aims to uncover any hidden motivations or connections. Meanwhile, the Secret Service's examination of the security failures seeks to identify weaknesses in their protocols and prevent future incidents. The discovery of bomb-making materials without corresponding digital traces is particularly alarming. It suggests that Crooks either had access to non-digital resources or was exceptionally skilled at covering his tracks. Both scenarios are troubling and require thorough investigation. The timing and response of law enforcement during the shooting are also under scrutiny. The speed at which officers can identify and neutralize a threat is critical in such situations. Any delays or miscommunications can have dire consequences. Therefore, analyzing the actions taken during the event from initial detection to the final response is essential to improving future security measures. In conclusion, the attempted assassination of Donald Trump is shrouded in mystery and unanswered questions. Each of these factors points to significant gaps in security and understanding of the shooter's motivations. As investigations continue, we hope to uncover more about what led to this tragic event and how similar incidents can be prevented in the future. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses and updates on this and other important stories. Your engagement helps us bring you the latest and most comprehensive coverage. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.